name's Chris Collop. I'm director of Collop & Son. We do concreting and groundworks all across the country, specialising in anything from agricultural, industrial work. We're in Malvern, just outside of Worcester. The site we're working on now is a cattle site being developed, so we've got three new cattle barns going up, straw shed, silage clamp. It's a full development of the new farm, really. I've used machine control now for eight to ten years. Started out with original Trimble systems, moved on up into earthworks and then newer systems as we've gone through. So with regards to Trimble, the products we use would be earthworks on the excavators and bulldozers, site designs and digging off. We also have skid steers for trimming through that we use with total stations, so we do 3D trimming through. And then we have, from the Trimble division, we actually import our concrete machines from America. So they all run on Trimble on the system from over there, and they're all 3D graded machines with machine control on total stations and everything from that. On the site we're on now, originally we get a provisional design come through, we then adapt it with the customer to make it more suitable for what they want, so they're happy with it, and we then import that design to machine control, use that originally to quantify the job, import that design to machine control, excavate everything off, then we go through soil stabilisation, stoning the site up with the same kit all the way through. From there the steel frames will go up, and then we'll come into the concrete laying world and we'll be on to laser guided um, concrete on this one and there's some 3D work on the aprons to go into right at the end when everything's finished, said and done. So with regards to Works Manager, we find it really useful just being able to make adaption to design on the fly a little bit. You'll always come across little parts that don't quite work or something that you haven't foreseen in the ground suddenly come across an existing drain or something like that that wasn't surveyed or found originally and you need to tweak the levels to make it work. You can do that from wherever you are. We have the added advantage that the boys can show us on site where that is so we can actually pick up those points from there. And also it just keeps an eye on quantifying material being used every day. I know how much is going in. I know how much has gone on the ground. Yeah, it makes a huge difference really. Yeah, really good relationship. I've been with Trimble since before SciTech was around. So um, yeah, I've got a really good relationship with Trimble and SciTech. They've, um, they've always done, they've done all my machine control. I haven't got anything on another machine. They've been really good to work with, good support. It's a decent technical team. I can't really fault them, to be honest. What does the future hold? Um, yeah, so the future for us really is just to keep expanding and keep growing. We've got numerous machines on machine control now, but we want to expand those out, keep ourselves up to date with everything. We'll push on with our external concrete laying. Not many people who do external concrete slabs in 3D, so we quite like laying those. It's something we market more of now. GPS on the machine control is really, really helpful. We want to look at going into compaction next, really, and try and measure the compaction, which I know is something they've been going into. It's just got a bit to come on in the UK. I know that Trimble's pushing hard with it, so they use it in other countries, and I think it'll soon get here. So. That'll be the next area.